So what I'm arguing for is essentially turning around the whole philosophy of DSM. Instead of reliability being most important and leading to validity, which it doesn't, validity should be more important. And we should later work on reliability as good as we can, but make sure we're talking about valid conditions. And let me say one more thing about why reliability did not lead to validity. When DSM-3 came out, it had so much influence. It was so popular. It led to more uh, interest in continuing it. So DSM-4 was basically unchanged. And the leader of DSM-4 told his committees to make as few changes as possible and as small as possible. That's the exact opposite of science. When you do scientific research, you don't say to yourself, let me keep everything the same. Maybe make a small change if I have a lot of evidence for it. No, you have to try to change things to whatever is right based on whatever evidence you have. And the uh, fifth edition didn't change it much for the fourth either. In other words, people say DSM is like a dictionary where we can agree on definitions of things, but they also say it's a Bible. Well, the problem is the dictionary became a Bible. We started worshiping the dictionary. We started acting that these definitions are godlike and we should never change them. 